Right. Mm. Hi, everybody. It's it's Kasia. Um, just thought I would start my life differently. Usually you can see my um, crafting place straight away, but I just thought I would show my face so you know who's crafting, because usually you just see my hand. Um, um, it is a half term. Yeah, that's my daughter. <laughs> So it is a half term, that's why I'm crafting at this time of the day. Normally it's crafting um, quite late for me evening. Uh, but being a half term, I just thought I would do something in the middle of the day. So you might see my uh, daughter's hands popping in and out. Maybe you can hear her in the background sometimes. Um, but we'll be fine. We'll manage. It's, it's, it will be fine. Okay. So uh, I will be crafting with... Uh, June's um, mixed media kit, which is um, called Vintage Charm. All right, Shane, can you just go now, please? Thank you. Bless her. She just wants to be on a Facebook Live. Um, hi, Danielle. Lovely to see you here. So I will be crafting with a new June's uh, Vintage um, Charm kit, which is called... Uh, with, that's for Thompson Craft Supplier. That's why I'm on the um, site to do it now. Um, right so shall we start crafting because that's why i'm here right let me put the camera the right way so you can see what's happening right okay oops i've swapped the camera brilliant okay okay so this is my crafting place. This is um, I put all the bits and out bits and bobs from the kids, put them on the table. But I will be um, doing what I'm doing, improvising a lot. But I do have a rough idea what I'll be doing. Um, if you like to, if you like to see um, what the kid is, um, kids the uh, kid is like. Uh, I think Grace has done the unboxing video. Uh, on uh, on the website which is wonderful so you can just have a look exactly what you get in there hi leslie uh thanks for watching um i will be doing something uh, i'll be i'll be decorating a4 notebook which um which this is the notebook that's the back of the notebook which i did not decorate or anything is the honestly is a cheap one from the one of the paper craft shop and it cost me about two pound um, but all I did, I did paint it the front already because otherwise it will take me some time's life and I really don't want to take your time guys just to look in the painting uh, painting the um, the notebook that's the A4 notebook I used the chalk paint so that because uh, I think it go nicely with the vintage um, charm and um, that's the back of it so that's i'm gonna do the back later so shall we uh, what uh, i did a little bit of prep as well so what i did what you get in a kit what you get in a kit is the um stencil which is wonderful which is beautiful and i used it already a little bit to help me with my um, with my kit with my uh, decoration so i've actually stenciled that um on the acetate just a structure paste simple one um i did it this morning only because i know it takes time to dry and i did not want to um heat the acetate too much to get it um dry life so that's the only reason why i did that but look how beautiful is that so my plan is i've got a very rough plan i'm gonna do i'm gonna improvise so my so let's see what we're gonna do so <coughs> in a kit um, you also get some stamps those one and I was thinking I might use those stamps to stamp around the border I'll tell you usually my plan is um, I usually do quite heavy background and I tend to leave the middle because I know there's always something central in the middle so um, I'll concentrate on the edges sometimes I do lovely background and then I end up layering layering and covering all that up and I'm like mm, you can't see the background but that's the that's the that's the beauty of mixed media and beauty of the of, of crafting you cannot plan everything no matter what so let's have a look okay. I'm thinking this border will be nice 
just on the edges let's see if that's gonna stamp nicely because that's the cover obviously right so i don't know if that will be better open maybe that'll be more stable i'm thinking i'm still gonna obviously probably cover it with lots of stuff but at least something i'm gonna use the stays on the only because i'm stamping on the uh, on the on the chalk background and uh, which is the cardboard already so and i'm using the brown one because i think the black one will be a bit too harsh i'm not sure how that's gonna stamp on that hmm, that actually stamped quite brilliantly nice when you don't know what to expect because you're stamping on a different background i've stamped i've tried this morning on the piece of card and it worked but piece of card is flat and you're thinking anything work on that one but when you've got something like that you're thinking might not work but it did unbelievable detail that stamp is and it can stamp beautifully let's have a look if i need one up up there I can just do a little bit I won't do the whole let me have a look now I need to try to jiggle the right I either need a smaller block or what would I do that way right okay because I'll probably just do the three so I know that Louise is at work, so she said she's going to watch that later or she's going to pop in to say hello. Uh, Louise is the owner of the Thompson Craft Supplier and she's doing the beautiful kits for last six months. So every month she's issuing a kit with a different theme, which are, uh, which are different from month to month. They differ, so there's always some, they are mixed media kits plus paper, lots of paper paper uh, paper craft as well so whatever you want to use them for you either use them as a paper craft for paper craft or for mixed media or combine them just like I did or anything yeah let me see I think I'll go one more sorry okay let's do that one here oh wrong wrong thinking not on this side okay okay so thompson craft supplier is issuing a kit every month however they also they also do um, normal craft supplier online shop so if you're looking for anything else not just a um, crafting kit you can also get all the little things that crafters need. Um, I'm sure you're all aware of the recent um, changes in law regarding data protection. And I do hope you do sub subscribe again to Thompson Craft Supply newsletter. Otherwise, you're missing out. And even you've received the letters before, you won't receive them till you actually acknowledge and say and send your consent to louise by filling the three lines application on the on the on the website you just your name address and your email um your, your name surname email address just to share just to say yes i'm happy to receive the newsletters from you newsletters not, on, not only tells you about the what's happening what kids she's doing this month are also some great offer that she does um often and you'll be just losing that on that right okay that's the very basic stuff what we're doing here now but let's crack on with crackle paste because that's my favorite one i'm gonna use the crackle paste right so first of all we need a primer i'm using pentad one which require priming the the, the place the space and later you need to 
apply the paste and that will crackle crackle paste will not work without the primer so be aware be aware of that um the reason why i'm not using different crackle paste because this one tends to this one dries with a heat gun straight away so it just doesn't give you waiting time the other paste i use they don't really do well with the with the heat and you need to wait or basically won't crackle if you don't let it uh, so that's the reason however i do love that one so if you've never used it you need to prime your space which i prime around the, the notebook because as i said that's mainly where i'll be concentrating apologies for a second for the heat gun i need to heat it a little bit to get it dry it will not fully dry primer will remain sticky it will just um, start being start becoming transparent and then you can use the paste on that I follow this for the noise but that needs to be done without it there's nothing I can move on okay. so. Jen, can you answer this one, please? Okay. Oh, life happening. Apologies for that. Go go upstairs, please. Mm, love it. Yeah, life happening, guys. Nothing being pre-planned. Right. Okay. Right. Okay. Okay. That's all right. Uh, crackle paste. Crackle, uh, primer you apply with a brush and the crackle paste I would apply with the with the palette knife if I find one yes I got it let me get the TV down a little bit okay. Okay. the thicker you apply the paste the bigger cracks you get if you really want a tiny one you need to get the thin layer as possible so whatever you want to do i like the mixture so that's why my paste is thin and thick in different places okay i think i'm happy with that Let's get the effect straight away. And as you can see, I've already covered all the stampings I did, but that's me. If I do things like that, I just don't know what's going to happen. So let's do the crackle. Can you see it straight away? It's cracking. If I use different paste, you can see the small one appearing straight away and the next, the big one next to it, that taking a bit more time. I love the crackle effect, it's just beautiful. You can see some big one in this corner, some small one as well. So it depends how thick my, my paste was. Okay, I think it's fine. Okay, 
but as you can see that's a bit striking white for me and I will not leave it like that that will be too much of whitening for me so I have to change the color a little bit so obviously I'm making a vintage I'm trying to I'm aiming for vintage looks so I'm gonna try to vintage that the way I'm gonna do it is I'm gonna use the antique antiquing antiquing cream from deco art and I know Louise got them available on the website they really useful they're quite cheap I must say and they last for a long time the way we you use them very simple you need to oops apply it with a brush Uh, over the crackling and the, I know it looks very dark but do not worry about anything just let it let me show you what's happening here so that's you need to go over your crackle and I know it might look a bit dark and that's fine don't worry we will fix it I didn't take much did I? Right, okay. So that needs a literally couple of minutes of drying to drying a little bit. So either use your heat gun or just let it dry for a couple of seconds. It doesn't take long, it's already dry, I can see. So those creams come in different colour. I've got a couple of them. I've I i did not know which one I'm gonna use, so I've um, taken out the grey and the raw amber and oh, I'm using raw amber now let's have a look so I'll blast it for a sec to speed up the process and that's dry now and what you have to do is get yourself a wipe wet wipes that is been probably left out for a couple of minutes already outside the packaging is not too wet and then you just need to go over there and remove the hash color leaving you with a lovely vintagey looking crackle effect can you see that the paste went into the crackle so it's yeah right that looking much better it took the white of the paste and then gave the crackle a vintage effect love it okay so great okay let's when I've got my background that's the kind of main background I'm gonna now start building up the layers and using the embellishment from the kit and some from my stash because as I said I will be doing um, I haven't you know um, that was my rough plan this is what I wanted to do and then now we we'll try to try to do some other stuff okay I was this beautiful lace comes um, in your kit and I will make beautiful that will look beautiful here it's so vintagey and I'm gonna use it on the side here I'm um, gonna use my hot glue gun for that purpose okay and then right and then okay okay if you've got any question um, if you're not sure about what I'm using how to use it and what am I doing um, even if you're watching that later obviously I know that you're not watching it live so always ask question or I leave the comments or or message me or anything I'll, I'll happily come back to you another piece of lace that is in your kit is this beautiful dusty um, 
pink one which I'm thinking shall I use it or not let's have a look I think I like it but um, with, let's leave it for now as a build up composition so I need to now obviously do something in the middle and then we leave the edges uncovered somehow there's a lot of embellishment in this kit so let's crack on there are so many of them I won't even know which one to use that's always a that's always an issue with me but right okay piece of corrugated paper I love it I use it for lots of projects I've got them in white and I've got them in this um, natural color the normal one and I love white for this one and I tear it I never cut it and I'm thinking I was, that would be my very base base layer lay, and I can start building up on that one right okay don't forget about my beautiful see how we're gonna use that one just need to keep it in mind that it's there to use otherwise I'll keep adding up layer and I keep forgetting I was thinking I want the door uh, to go on my and I'm thinking, shall I change the color of the door? Because that would be too pink if I go for pink one. What about going for this lovely gray one, um, green one? This paper comes uh, in your kit. You can use it as a main background or you can cut it um, the little doors as you like, which I will do because I think that'll be too nice to use it as a whole. <laughs> thinking that I could use every door individually for a little project. So I'm thinking doors. Okay, we've got some photos of lovely people. Um, they do remind me of obviously um, dolls of um, Tim Holtz. Oh, I've got the small one though. Mm, okay, and I'm thinking, shall I? I? I like this lady, but I'm thinking I'll cut her, cut around her to make it. Let's have a look how it's gonna be. Um, the kids, um, the vintage kids, the the charm, vintage charm is available on sale from tomorrow onwards. So please get yours. It will be I will myself or Luis or someone if you can help me. I'll put put the link underneath there in the comments for you to be quickly able to access it. Um, it costs twenty eight pound. 95 pence including delivery so that's a really good price honestly speaking for all the beautiful stuff that you're getting right let's build up the composition this is white it's lovely but uh, obviously I'm, I'm thinking too white the way I'm gonna change the white into something more vintage is use oxide as we all do or use the normal distressing it's fine as well obviously this one tends to be now more in vogue than the other the unoriginal one which i understand because i love them as well yeah and the edges the door let's uh, do the door as well a little bit okay okay let's let's keep that in mind the layering and then keep 
working on the rest of the layers okay that's that's the rough um, project I don't really have some things uh, that I can tell you yes that's gonna work because it never happened let's have a look at the papers uh, we need to use something from those papers because they are too beautiful not to be used okay that one I like this one I'm gonna leave this one for some other projects I'm gonna use the corner over here and underlay it as well and I know you're thinking well oh yes I do tear my paper a lot especially for projects like that if I don't need them to be and I don't want them to be straight anyway so I'm thinking that goes over there I don't like straight that might be a bit too big and you're thinking I will still use it for some other project those little papers there so nothing to worry and I'm thinking, yes, let's edge that as well a little bit. Yes. Beautiful. Let me have a look if it's point to stamp on that one if that's if I'm gonna cover it all or at least I can right. composition changing each time I'm placing it I'm always thinking it's gonna be a different way of laying it. Mm. Let's leave the stamping out at the moment. I'm not gonna However, I like the stamps. Let's have a look. Shall we do some laces here? On that one, just a bit of covering. Just like a lacy. No, I'm not sure about that. Not sure. This one is beautiful lace that we cover it with a crackle paste. And you know what? I promise not to much but it's happening and it will happen All right okay what I'm gonna use I'm gonna use the ink that came from the kid as well it's called Kin. is from low fund and that's what I'm gonna use to get the little it's not gonna be very intense but that's not what I'm aiming for I don't want the intense oh uh, yeah that's what you're looking for just a little bit let me do it again okay and a little bit here yeah and a little bit here and a little bit here loved better beautiful you do have a, get a choice of four in your kit um thanks leslie you get choice of four different colors um usually get them at random however if you really fancy a particular color you get you just need to text or email louise uh requesting the particular one so whatever whatever is available she will send you or requested one right getting there slowly but surely Right, let me attach that lace because otherwise we're just gonna lose it. It's just gonna go somewhere one day and then we're not gonna find it. Okay. Right. Happy with curly edges. Yeah. And if you get white on this side, just get them a bit. That's what's gonna happen. You just get white when you... <laughs> right okay let's go for it I'll okay right okay okay let's go for my little bag of earthly things that I do love and all those let's have a look 
you know what um cheese gloss or gas gloss is my ultimate favorite for any mixed media project use them for background use them for layering as a one of the layer anything how you like you can color that obviously so if you if it's always white but change the color with the inks with the distress um oxide or with a spray anything you change the color immediately and you just match your it will match your <coughs> project right okay um also you get sizzle a bit of sizzle a back of sizzle which goes a long way so it looks like a bunch but <laughs> you use it a little bit you get it in your kit and uh, that's one of my second favorite this is yeah must have uh string i love string all sort of strings this is a sizzle string i'm gonna use it as well so let's start layering up okay shall we leave this one white or shall we add a bit of color to it just a bit okay now it's a bit more vintage <clears throat> okay this one might need to change the shape as well because I am not happy with that square shape that I want to use so let's have a put that into the shape that will be yes I um, cannot tell you the shape I've just made but it's not square <laughs> right okay love the texture of that I will leave it white I was thinking you can also add the can you see how lovely that's gonna look if you add a bit of distress on that one which you tempted to do oh yeah let's do the edges at least but I think the white is beautiful on that acetate yeah, just a little bit of color. Okay, so this is what we've got so far. Let's have a look if that's gonna... I don't want to spread it on all my surface background. That's why I changed my position because I think I'm gonna leave this corner if I need a place for the sentiment or something, this is where it's gonna go. If I start spreading all over, I'm gonna lose the composition. And and also when you're looking at something, you need to have a focal point, you need to concentrate on something. So if I put a little bit here, here and here and here, you just don't know where to focus when you're looking at the project. Let's have a look how does that gonna look or oh, this one goes under. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Just thinking that will be my door, my lady here. Lots of other small embellishment around. I get a bit of yeah. Let's start sticking that down before I change my mind and come up with something else okay I'm just doing the like a, a not a lot of blue for now so I can tuck the things under if I need to but later when I'm happy I'll just shove the glue underneath to get it uh, stable if it's too much of like this one's a bit hanging out i need to cut it and that spread it yeah okay 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 let's add this one Okay, 
let me move that a little bit out because I'm not sure if you can see everything. Right. Okay. This dog gonna go here. That's my thinking. The lady gonna come down a little bit here. And you can't see it there because it's, this is a okay this is the place where I get my scissor down in a messy way I'm not aiming for any precision here They'll be sticking out from underneath, so it's not something that I'm actually planning to, to put in any shape, however. But they do need to be stuck down a little bit before I... I'm happy with those little ones sticking out randomly. Yeah. And my... Let's have a look what we can do with that one. So if we've got the door here and the lady is going here... Where would that go? Just trying a few things, that's what you do if you're not happy. Just don't do it and that's it. Right, okay. Right. Shana, I'm gonna need your finger now. Okay, can you put your finger here for me, please? Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. That was helpful. You're welcome. Okay. The lady gonna come here. And there'll be some other embellishment that we're gonna use in a minute from that wonderful kit because there's so many of them and we have to use them right let's stick this door down gonna come here that's the way let me see it's a bit flat in here so anything else we will be sticking underneath I'm sure we will find it okay so okay let's see if I can find anything in that color that will be matching the dot a little bit because I will need some embellishment in that color I will have a look that one will be beautiful here let's have a look some photos keys this one will be nice oh, I like those one let's see where's they gonna go my happiest thought out of time spent with you Pretty. Oh, I love this clock. That's all from the kids, guys. So you can you see what's the choice you've got. You're just going to be overwhelmed like me. With the stuff that you can do, you can get. Okay, let's... I like this rose. Beautiful. Okay. One goes here and let the, the lady stick in here. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's not gonna be here. Okay, let's have a look if I can find anything in that vintage. Yeah, 
That's so pretty. Okay. Let's have a look at that one. Okay. Just get it the right way. Oh, where's 12 here? Okay. That's not the way. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Okay. I love those ones. So. How long have I been puffing already? 45 minutes guys, I know you're thinking But that's the way it is, you can't rush things like that You can't you can't rush creativity I've got some other stuff I've got hmm. Okay, let's, let's go Let's have a look if I manage to do it within an hour. I should be fine. Got more spaces to talk things in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, I'm happy with this side of the. Butterfly, let's have a look where is that gonna go. We've got another clock on the to balance the other one, I think. I'll be good if I can put it the right way up. Mm -hmm. And that can have a butterfly over here flying out. <coughs> Don't know if you can hear me or I'm talking to myself. Oh, I do talk to myself while crafting a lot though. So, okay. Yeah. Still looking for some stuff I can use from this paper. There's so many of them, and when it comes to deciding about something you like, those ones are so useful. Amazing stuff here. Right, let's crack on with that idea that we had here. Yeah. Just checking the... Okay. Okay. The butterfly... I think that needs sticking a bit more since I know I'm going to be tucking stuff underneath in this corner so that just give me a bit fabulous oh that's all right now okay so where are we we are right I need some sentiment I need some we've got Lot, we've got some beautiful pearls and the 
we need to use at least a couple of them we have to for the embellishment but let that, let's leave it for a very last minute of puffing i found this frame in my stash which i really like it i'm not sure if i'm gonna use it but i like it okay let's find some wording that we need to okay i like that one be bold in your dreams you dream for yourself every day a new story begins I think that will be the one okay so those one are the stickers and if you if you know you're gonna stick them straight away on a flat surface that's fine honestly speaking it's happening very rarely that I've got flat surface long enough to stick my sentiments on so I'll put them on a cut stick them onto the cut and then I'll cut around them if I get my scissors and then I use them that way if I see yeah I think I'm not gonna leave the border because I might need to cut them in half because sometimes just don't have enough the space for the long line to be brilliant somewhere here okay every day a new story begin I think I'm gonna cut it in half every day a new story begin every day a new story begins yeah okay let's just round those things to see how we're doing okay this lady head is popping out so let's put it down a little bit otherwise she'll be mm. he's a bit she doesn't have a let's get him some something here to put a head down <laughs> because he's a bit here uneven I would say for her to put her head down to see I'm, I'm sure she wants to see that's why she's not putting her head down so let's get some something I can use the butterfly you think mm -hmm. okay let's let's cut this butterfly out Yay. and see how's that gonna work She's not, she's stuck. She got her head stuck now. <laughs> I love it. So put it over there. Right. I love this butterfly. Shall we balance it with another one somewhere? Yeah. Shall we have another butterfly? Which one do you think is a nice one, Shen? This one. The blue one. Okay. Shall we put this one out? Good. Yeah. Maybe if we need, if we need a little one, mm -hmm. we can use one of these butterflies. Uh, good idea. We could always use some of those as well. So we don't need to cut them out. I think they're already cut out, are they? Yes. Mm -hmm. We can see the little lines. Mm -hmm. <coughs> you okay? Yeah, when you craft, you do need an expert advice sometimes. That's why your daughter comes in handy. Don't you, girl? Yeah. You good at helping mommy? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what do you think so far? Can I have your opinion, young lady? What do you think? about my composition so far 
What does it mean? Thumbs up. Oh, I love you. Double thumbs up. Double thumbs up. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> right. Loving it. Let's get that one stuck. That's the bottom. Shall we use that one somewhere as well, you think? Yeah. yeah, I think it's lovely. They come with the kit and they are beautiful. Let's get that stick. Where do I you want them? I just Yeah, which, where do you want them to go? Where do you think? Not in, maybe somewhere. Yeah. I like it in the door, so it's mm -hmm. hiding in there. I mean, in the doors. <laughs> I like it where it's hiding. Mm. Maybe this little one? Mm. Over here? Let me think. I'm not sure if I'm liking it so far, so let's leave it. Let's get another. Though oh, this is so pretty. Maybe another butterfly. Mm -hmm. Here. Yeah, there is one, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. Not sure about that. Let's have a look. Let's add a bit of those little one. Yay! But, uh, one already fell out. That's all right. Oh, I need a different glue for that. I stick to a mm. quick paper. I'm risking it using the hot glue gun for sec sequence. You know what's gonna happen. Burning. Let's add a few for the accents. This one? Yeah. He, he knocked it right out of my hand. Sorry, babe. Let me get one. Just get a couple. I don't want to add more. I just want to literally few of them two more yes thank you that will be more than enough and they are so tiny <laughs> I just can't pick big ones out mm. my fingers are small so I need to pick small ones mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. that's brilliant I'm not risking those one okay let me get all the glue strings away from the project. They always stay behind. This one's sticking to there. <laughs> okay. So, let's have a look. Let's just do some finishing touches here. Because I am pretty happy with what it looks like. Where is my oxide, Jen? Have you seen the oxide? What's that? The ink. The brown ink. There? Not this one, the other one. Oh my god, when you can. Oh, yes, yeah. It's here. <laughs> Love, happy day. Mm -hmm. This is my. Your. Me. Mm. You my. Your. Me. What are you reading? The sentiments? Yes. Mm -hmm. Should I put love? Where love? Where do you want to put love? On my project? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Love! You. It's a beautiful. Yeah. I'm not sure if it's gonna match my. It's pink, and this is pink, pink. Yeah, good skills then. So just browning everything at the moment. Just what about her face? <laughs> no, the face looks fine. I'm just gonna do some splatters as well. Don't splatter me. No, if you move away, you won't get any on you. Right. What do you think so far? Um, mm, me too, I'm liking it. I think it's lovely. Let's get some splatters done. The thing is, I've got so many stuff on this desk, I don't want to get any splatter anywhere that they shouldn't be. Especially the black one. So I'm going to use black gesso for that purpose and I'm going to bring my spraying box. So Where's the spray box, Jenny? In the kitchen? No, I know where it is. Okay, thank you. Right, okay, so that's my spray box. This flower is flying! I put it on the table, now it fell back on the floor again. Now I need to put it back on the table again. Mm -hmm. And it went on the floor already twice. Mm -hmm. oh. Right, okay. Let's get some. So the way I do splatters is the simple stuff I do is gesso diluted with the water to the consistency of be able to do some splattering. 
Yeah. Uh, let me get some smaller brush. Yeah, yeah, no way. Okay. I'm painting myself brown. Maybe a bit naughty, but I do that in a cover. Add some water to gesso and. So, okay, okay. This is a masterpiece. That is a masterpiece. Yeah. Right. So the big one coming from hand like that, which is fine. If you want the tiny one, you need to get something to tap on it. Otherwise, it's not gonna work. So get yourself. Um, Brush. Can I have that brush, please? Mm -hmm. I was giving myself a darker brown. Okay. <laughs> and then you get smaller, tiny. Mm -hmm. I've tends to don't splatter all over as well, as you can see. I've chosen that area, so I'm leaving that one without splatter at all. Otherwise, it's just too much. Right, I think I'll maybe, maybe use a look at that. Yeah, not on this project. <laughs> <laughs> but it's thanks for offering. It's tiny and red. Mm. What? Okay, I think I'm quite happy with that one so far. Let's see if we can get the white splatter as well a little bit just to balance it and then we i think we'll be done i don't want to fuck more i've been here fucking for one hour okay okay so i'm just trying to get the white one that'll be enough otherwise that'll be a bit too much after so let's move that can you take that away please for me thank you yeah that's a little bold i know i know all right guys i think i will be finishing that project it took exactly one hour and i still have got back to do but i'll do it off camera so it was the simple notebook as you can see the back is not decorated it's just the way it looks at the beginning it's um, the notebook a5 size mm. haven't noticed that one but okay and we did a crackle base with the stamping that you cannot see anymore so ignore that fact all the embellishments are from the um, from this kit uh, June's kit called uh, Vintage Chan. Thanks, Danielle. That is really kind of you to say that. Thank you. Thank you. And you are inspired. That's what I'm here for. So hopefully that will... I'll take some photos and I will uh, do the link to this um, video so you can always uh, refer to it. Any question, anything, please always ask. Please do. Um, thanks very much, everybody, for, for your time. And see you later.